Hi everyone, it's Kate and I'm back with another scrapbook layout process video for you. I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone again. I usually only ever use white backgrounds to my scrapbook pages. But seeing as though the Brazil card stocks um, that I've got coming in, the hip kits are so gorgeous in colour. Um, I'm trying to, to use some, some different coloured backgrounds for my layouts. Um, so in this one I'm going to use a Brazil card stock in the colour 22 pink. And I've just primed that with some white gesso. And for the main sort of theme of my layout, I'm going to make myself um, a little banner that you can see there. So I've just got uh, a banner shaped punch, um, but you could just cut these out yourself. They're simple shapes. And I'm just, I've picked a few of the pattern papers out and I am just threading those through um, some floss. Um, now that my background is dry, I'm just going to bring that back over. And again, with the mixed media, I'm just going to use um, a combination of different colours in the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Um, I use evergreen uh, buff or bow, whichever way you want to pronounce that, uh, tumbled glass, bundled sage, mustard seed, and I, in, a thing, in a bit I think I use the faded jeans as well. There's one of the Lindy's uh, watercolour pigments that I use, and I'm going to butcher the name, <laughs> plumeria pink I think it's called. Um, so I just, this was, took me quite a while to layer this background up and I wasn't quite happy with it and I ended up changing it um, part way through the layout anyway. But again, it's the same technique that I normally use. Um, I use the packaging technique and it's just layer upon layer of colour and in between each colour I'm drying it off there with my heat tool. So I'm finally happy with the mixed media on the background, although I think, again, later on when I've placed everything down, there's um, that patch of teal colour that doesn't quite match the layout, so I do fix that afterwards. Um, I did also pull over some of my just basic acrylic paints and just watered those down. Um, the, the one in antique gold is, is the one that you can sort of see there, the, the yellowy mustardy colour. Um, that went quite nicely with the layout. Um, so I've just had a look through and picked that picture because the I'd, I'd initially planned to go for a light and pink themed layout but this sort of took me in a completely different direction and I think sometimes you just have to let that happen sometimes you have in your head exactly how you want the layout to be and it turns out completely different which is what happened on this one um, but I'm okay with it and I was really happy with it at the end um, so I thought with the the colors on the banner so we got that really dark green and the I love the colour of that wood um, wood panel, but we'd only got um, a small strip of that on one of the papers. Um, but I, I have used that on almost every layout. Um, I thought it would go really nice with a woodland themed picture where you can see the, the greens of the trees and the, the dirt track that we were on there as well. So I'm just, um, I think the banner's going to be the sort of main focal point. And now I'm just clustering some of the embellishments around the photo again a lot of these well these are from the september hip kits um which i have at the moment and i'm working through i want to try and use as much of the kit as i possibly can because i absolutely love this kit um so i'm hoping to 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 completely kill the kit um with different layouts 
So I've just picked out some of the, the embellishments and I've clustered those around the picture. The wood veneer as well, I, I was waiting for an opportunity to use those and I think with the picture again they fit in quite nicely. And you can see that wood veneer panel that I'm talking about there. Um, I did want to use a, a chevron pattern again, um, but I just cut that out by hand rather than run that through any sort of cutting machine because it's quite a simple shape. And I did two smaller ones on the other side just to, to bring a sort of focal point towards the picture. And then I'm just going to start to glue those down now. Now that I've glued all the embellishments down, I did also um, pull up some of the edges of the flag just around the photo to give that a bit of extra dimension, um, just so it sticks up from the page. These um, these lovely golden stickers, again, I've used on almost every single layout are by uh, Maggie Holmes, and they're the lovely phrase stickers. Um, so I've used the title um, that we, you can see there, it says today, that's in the gold stickers. And then I think I've used some of the other, the leaf designs as well. Um, so I wanted to um, have in my title live for today, but I couldn't find anything that quite matched what I wanted to go for. Um, so all I've done is, and I do this quite often, is mixed up some um, just acrylic paint, the same one that I used on the background. Um, that's just an antique gold colour. And I've just put a light layer on top of, of those um, stickers that we had. I had those in an old hip kit, actually, and I was just struggling to fit them on any kind of layer because of the colours. Um, so I've just painted a layer of acrylic paint. I just do really thin layers and just dry each layer in between with the heat tool. I think I end up doing about three layers on that. And then once they're dry, because I've used the same paint on the background, they actually tie in really nicely with the layout. So I'm just going to add some journaling now, um, as I normally do with a black uni pin pen in 0.5. Um, then I do one of my, when you feel like something's missing in the layout, I often go to this technique. Um, so I just felt that there was something wasn't quite right. Um, so I just pulled up the edges, you'll see in a moment, at the bottom of the page, and then um, sort of took behind some pattern paper. I usually use a pattern paper that I've already put in the layout so that it ties everything together. Um, which in this case is that gorgeous pattern print there. And then I'll just staple, and you can see that I was quite frustrated there every single time. If you don't measure something, it's not going to fit. I cut it too short, as I usually do. So <laughs> I had to re-measure it out again and glue that back down. I just staple the edges together, um, just again to give it a bit of extra interest. And I think we're almost finished. The title's dry now, I've left that till the end, because the last thing you want to do is smudge that right when you're at the end of a layout, there's nothing worse. So I'm um, just when when you paint some of the letters with acrylic paint, what you tend to get is um, is some overlap of the paint on the edges. What you want to do is just use a blade or, you know, a scalp or something like that just to get the paint, um, the excess paint off. Because if you pull that with your fingers and I've had this happen to me before, it pulls the entire layer of paint off off of the, um, the letter. So you don't want to do that. So just use something to just gently scratch the excess off, which is what I'm doing there. And I think that is me finished. Um, yeah, that's me just finishing. Um, I really didn't like that, that pop of teal coming through. It, it didn't match the layout at all. So I'm just correcting that. 
and i think that's me done so thank you very much guys for watching another one of my videos i'd love it if you could like and subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and i hope to see you on my next video thanks guys bye